burring on the cutout but everything else looks real good just kind of deburr it a little bit Let's see. Let's see that in the camera no burrs on the uh, trace cuts so <clears throat> this took a lot of work all right so this is a uh, NR40 with a special collet. This is supposed to be able to spin at 40,000 or 50,000 RPMs. So I had to make an adapter. This is a one quarter NPT, and then I have a body for that. And then I then I crazily just to see if I could because I did, tried something else and it didn't work. I drilled out an M5 bolt with a carbide cutter. Um, so anyway, this is an M5 into the body. And then this I had to make. I made the first one out of plastic and it worked pretty good for low RPMs. But the bearing gets warm enough that the plastic isn't won't hold up under any kind of decent load. Um, these are just silicon O-rings. Um, so I have a, a roughly a 2 to 1 reduction. And the most important thing about the O-rings is I actually, the, there's no continuity between the, the, uh, the spindle and the uh, body. So I don't know how you're really supposed to ground this, but I have a wire here that's to the body, which hopefully gets me some grounding uh, to something. And then uh, on this guy, I have another wire up here. Um, and the belt generates a ton of static electricity. So what happens is... If I don't have any kind of grounding on either one of these, um, it sends a surge but somehow back through the, the brushless motor controller. Um, so then I have this guy, which right now I think is spinning max 12,000 RPMs, and I can get it up to 36,000. But it's just a regular old skate bearing in here with a, with a wave spring washer. There's two bearings, one on the top and one on the bottom. It probably isn't really smart to run this thing at 36,000 RPMs. Maybe it'll work. Um, and then I had to add this back here. I actually redid the whole uh, Z-axis so that uh, I could add this ball screw. I got a lot of ball screws, eight ball screws for 80 bucks, which was amazing. 
Um, so I decided to upgrade to these linear rails, which I had. And then uh, I've got about another two to one reduction on the motor back here. And then the next thing I did is actually I built out this ball screw, which is another eBay find that I got. Um, and so I did some Loctite 640 with an adapter here. So this wasn't really long enough for me to put a bearing on there um, and to use this B, this BK10 mount. It turns out that I didn't actually make it long enough to do what it should do, uh, which is to have the um, to have the uh, the motor drive it from this side. And as I as I am literally standing here, I just notice <laughs> this isn't even tightened on here, so I got to tighten the set screw and tension it right. So anyway, so then over here on this side, there's only about a uh, I don't know, I want to say about 10 millimeters. So I just made a straight coupling to the motor, which is on a, what I would call a spring mount. Um, but I can already tell that uh, the backlash that I was seeing in the belts is uh, probably gone. I want to look at this under the microscope and see how centered everything is. But it looks, it actually looks pretty good. So the next thing I want to do is I want to put. I bought a, a, tea, a, a tea, cast iron T slot from a, a little machine shop. I want to get it mounted on this plate. It'll, it'll, it'll make the entire thing more rigid. And I'm probably going to take these T slots and move them out 20 millimeters each. That'll, that'll fit the, the larger T slot. And then down in here, it's a real tight squeeze. So I've got, I've got these uh, uh, 12 millimeter linear rails. And then I have this cycloidal um, rack and pinion, and this is actually working really well right now. Um, I, I, I'm, I have another one of these ball screws, and I may, I may convert the, that axis to the ball screw, but right now it's working pretty good, so I don't know if I'm going to do that. So yeah, there's my uh, ATC with uh, a lot of effort to make this part, because there's a little, there's a little plus-shaped coupling for the motor that this has to this has to interface with and uh, everything's got to be spot on because this thing is spinning at 20,000 rpms anyway thanks for watching